All right, let's take a look. Okay. Nope, that's not what I want to share. <laughs> Reshare. It's so hard, like all these tiny little thumbnails. Okay. So um, there's a couple of new things on this screen, um, but, but right, I'm, gonna, I'm looking I'm, at a, just to, can you go back to just the index just so we can kind of start from the beginning? Yeah. So that that's hasn't changed books. in a while. Um, just books and a way to add another book. Yeah. There's also the user management stuff. Um, so the, I, I'm going to go right into the pages because I think that's the most interesting change to start with. So um, it would been, it'd been more fun if you'd seen it without. So when you when you start, you just have this little this little bug at the top. This is just this edit or view switch. Um, so here you are just in reading mode. You can go between pages. But at some point, um, if you see something you want to change, you can just pop into edit mode. And kind of everything becomes part of this edit mode bar here. So we kind of we follow that pattern that we did in the everywhere design where it's, you know, we kind of indicate with color that these things are all related. Yes. And so you get this, you, you keep the switch, you have a save button, and then you have whatever tools belong um, to that particular type of page. So in this case, it's- Let me ask you a quick question. Oh, that's really, that's a, this is much better. I think yeah, is, right? Yes. This is like, I think what we sort of envisioned and then verbally, and then I think you put it together in a really nice way. Um, cool. Yeah. I'm, I also I'm like pleased. how the toggle begins in the center. Yep. And then sort of ex essentially expands to, to sort of keep it in the set. Like it's sort of, obviously it's moved, but um, you understand why it's moved. It's like moved to the left because other things have come out. So, I st but it's like the whole thing is still centered, which is nice. Yeah. Um, can you like add a space somewhere? I want to see how the save. Yeah. So, um, th so it just, that little button, um, you know, I've kind of really pushed the, the submit button back in the in the UI now because it's auto saving. So it's really, really just this little bug. It tells you that it's working and then it's done. I see. Okay. Now you could save any time and it just, you know, it doesn't really do much, but um it's just saving I, all the time. I have a small suggestion. Yeah. I like that. That's clever. So that's that was the decision to go with um Auto save and not an explicit save. Although, of course, you can explicitly save if you choose. You can to. explicitly save, yeah. What might be nice here is to have a state where you. So, for example, go into preview, preview mode or whatever. Yep. Yep. Okay, and then you're like, I want to change this. Mm -hmm. So, so toggle it on. Now, at this point, the save state, the auto save state, is the white check or the black check in the white circle. Mm -hmm. Now, don't do anything. But if you were to do something, you'd have the blue dots, you know, and then you'd go back to the state again. Mm -hmm. What's unclear in this moment is, did I change anything? Because the, the autosave state and the unsaved state is the same. So my suggestion would be white check as it is, but once you do a single autosave, that check switches to green still has the same behavior mm. but it indicates to me that like i did make a change here and this is different from what i came in with because i think when the when the steady oh, state like yep. and the autosave state is the same you can't answer the question wait a second did i did i change anything mm -hmm. um so i think it's a subtle thing mechanics are the same but i would have those two states uh and it's not it's one of these things where it's not super explicit. That's what it means, but I think we can explain it, and that's and you start to understand that. I've seen this in. Um, so where is this? Uh, well, actually, so the idea is that the green check is really um, your 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 your. It's like the the assurance that we got that. So the even after after it auto saved, it would turn to green, or if you manually saved, it's going to be green because. There's this is this is to say there's nothing new on the screen. Yes, this is like in 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 like you know uh, uh, basically a um, like uh, Sublime Text or whatever whatever you're using right when you when you alter a file you get you get the bullet next to it you know mm -hmm. if the file's been changed basically um, yeah. 
uh, or any any IDE probably does this sort of thing, right? You get like some indication that that file has changed its bold now and it wasn't before. That to me is what the green check here is. It's like, if there's a green check, something has changed from the state that you came in with. That's kind of the idea here. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Like All right, that. great. Otherwise, this is um, a real big improvement um, over over where we were before. Um, yeah, I, I I totally agree. I'm really I'm really pleased with with how that worked. The one piece of feedback I'd say here, otherwise, is the last update of one minute ago. Mm -hmm. It feels like in some ways it's part of the text. I know it's not, but it sort of feels that way. I would yeah. think about throwing that in the bottom left corner. If you left. Okay left a line there in the bottom right corner. It's in it's in like this, you know, line at the bottom, which is the navigation, but it's also sort of off to the side. It's clearly not part of the text. And I think it just has a better vibe when it's further away. So that let's let's talk about that because um actually sorry, can I say something? Else? Yeah, Why yeah. Put it up in the up next to the bar even, like to the right of the checkbox. I actually thought about just putting um another icon on the bar a little history icon or it, it even could just say it next to this yes um i'm pointing next to this check box like one minute five minutes 30 yes. minutes two years yeah. whatever that's even better but why don't we try that i know it's going to yeah. kind of expand the, the width of the bar and push the toggle further to the left but i think it's clear that that yeah. is related to that so like check one minute ago Let's try that. We don't need to say um, last updated. We can just say one minute ago. Yeah, it I know we're trying to keep else. language out of this. Yep. But but we we have it anyway. So feels like it might be all right. Yeah. So th the whole the whole point of this being here is to launch you into the the version history. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if we've actually looked at this since it Not was recently. working. Yeah. Um. So part of the autosave thing is we do save your changes um, on the regular. I mean, we save it every, you saw it as I'm typing basically every every couple of seconds. Yep. Um, but we don't create a new version until like it looks like a session is completed. Um, like you've made some significant edits, edits over a period of time. So we're not creating a new version every couple of minutes. So you can see the last major version was five minutes ago. So we've been doing this stuff, but it hasn't created a version yet because it looks like we're still working. Yep. And there's some things that do that. But then basically the way this works is you just see how long ago and you can flip through versions and you can start to see, you know, things change. Very small changes in this case. Yeah. Um, and so we're just betting that this is enough. There's no and like restore from or anything like that. There's no restore. Um, yeah, we, we talked about that. Um, it's one of the features I... I, I remember working on in Basecamp 2, we have version history and, and you can go back and see the diff and then restore to another version. But it's an incredibly complex thing to explain, even with words. It's really hard to say, like, this is a version. It's not the current version. Make it the newest version. Replace the newest version. Like, all in all the anxieties that go with that, like, what happens to the current version? Is it, a, you know, does it get saved? It, We've used words like promote this to the new version. It's just, it's a weird thing to explain. I don't know if we can make it really clear. And I don't know how often you actually want to do that, where you just want to say, oh, no, just throw it all away and go back to this other version. Yeah, I, my sense is, is that um, we could we could figure this out, obviously. I don't think we need it for 1.0. One, one oh. Yeah. I could see this definitely being something we do bring in later. Um, and there's a pretty clear shot, uh, clear path to like a UI for this. I agree that there's some things we need to work out, but I, given our time, what time we have left yeah. here, especially, I think this is adequate. Uh, there's a lot of things you can essentially copy and paste if you really truly needed to, you know, restore, kind of manually restore. But I do think a restore feature would be great, but we don't need it for V1. I would also say, by the way, we should left align this text here. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. That's a that's a regression. This should okay. be in its original format. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. This is cool, and that this is like the simplest possible version of like, oh, I kind of wait a second, I kind of think I screwed up or something. Let me just see what just happened. So I, I like this, and then yeah. we'll come back. We'll circle around to it later if, if necessary. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Um, so I can suspect that, but yeah, I like moving it up there. Okay. Cool. Um. So. Going forward, 
me go back and just pick one of these. So one of the things that we talked about is um, this. So um, I've made it so the pictures now can go as big as as they're as they're able to. Yeah. Um, the question is, is you know, one idea is we could put some tools here so we could say, do you want to change? You know how this image is presented. So maybe we have a version that just heavily mats it, so it has lots of white space around it. Um, so you can toggle between that and the just as big as it goes mode. Um, I, I haven't added that yet because I'm not sure we need it. And the other argument is we'll just upload an image that has the margin you want on it. Um, the other the other feature I had in mind here was maybe you want a different matte color. You know, maybe you want this image to not be on white but on black or gray or whatever. Yeah. So thought about so we use the same toolbar here so we could add some tools if we if we want to. Yeah. Actually I haven't decided if I want to do it yet though. Cool. Yeah, I could see basically, yeah, the options like background color and then like basically you can imagine sort of two icons with a toggle. One's like a small square, one's like a square that fills the whole space. And it's like totally a bleed image or not, you know. Uh, um, I would say this is one of those, like if we get to it in V1, great. Yeah. Um, I think the way it's just the default view you have here is probably fine for V1. Uh, and then we can always come back if we if we feel like we need to. Obviously, people are going to ask for more stuff. They will ask for more control. And yeah. It's a very reasonable request. Um, it's just a matter of like for V1, um, since we're talking about like we've got a couple weeks to go here. Um, this, you know, is it worth putting that the that effort into this work, or is there other are there other parts of the product currently being need more attention? Yeah, so, I, I feel like I I was my my plan is um things are in pretty good shape right now. Um so my plan is uh to spike this this afternoon and just see how it looks. Okay. Um we've 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 given us ourselves a feature complete deadline of of today, close business today, and then um we have 2 weeks for uh, of cool down for bug fixing, accessibility, polishing, testing and shipping it out before the cycle starts. So Okay. If I, what, and, and that that leads me. We have another idea for um, these section screens. Um, same thing here. You may want to have a different color. Um, you may want to decide these are left aligned or right aligned or centered. Yeah. Um, or it could be, is, or it could be just fine. Yeah, my sense. For, first off, I would make this field a lot wider. Yeah, way. this field probably needs to be like a text area so you can see multiple lines. Yes. Because right now way, it, it renders it, like that, but it's not very WYSIWYG. Yeah, it needs to be bigger. Um, whatever, however you decide to deal with that. It could be an expanding field. It could be text area. Whatever you decide makes sense. Okay. Um, I would say if you're going to play with photos versus um, title card designs things, well, actually, in a sense, they'll both kind of come for free. Like if you if you do the background color thing, yeah, maybe this just comes for free, you know, in both both views. Um, I think left aligning versus centering is probably more important here than full bleed and not full bleed on images. Like if you had to pick something, you yeah. may not have to, but if you did, you know, um, just because text has, you can imagine someone really using this as like slides in some way and mm -hmm. centering the text may not be to everyone's taste in a way that like, as long as they can put an image somewhere, they're happy with that versus like how, how the text is displayed. So these are those little trade-offs you might want to play with, but I think you probably, you might also want to say like, if we just do a background color thing, yeah, if we just do that for V1 and both of these get that because you, you kind of build it once and they both get it. And so yeah. you're doubling up the, you know, doubling up the I don't know, value or whatever. It's the wrong word, but um, versus building separate things, but alignment and bleed shouldn't be that big of a deal either. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah. So the other thought I had on color is um, changing colors could be really simple or it could be a kind of deep rabbit hole. Um, th the thing that comes to mind is, um, of course, dark mode. So you have your, if you just give people like a, uh, I think the original suggestion was um, we make, we make the, the field um, or we make the color just an input. Like you just type in the hex color and go. The problem is then you have to make sure you it's on the user to decide 
or to choose a color that's appropriate, you know, that, right. that works in both modes. And, and maybe that's fine for this. Uh, I also have to keep reminding myself that people own the code, so um, they could do whatever they want. The other version is you let them pick, you know, color, you either let them pick from a set of like themes, basically, or right. you, um, you give them, you know, two inputs for everything. So text color, light, dark, background color, light, dark, and the whole thing gets really complicated very quickly. Here's what I would do then. I think you're right. I think we should do this eventually, not for V1. What I would actually do, I would make a change here. I just put this in a white background, first of yeah. all, rather than this like off, off white or gray or whatever it is. That's true. And that way, like dark mode always works. There's no color selection and there's no annoyance with this color. Like if you have yeah. this light gray, someone's like, I don't want the light gray. I wish it could be light blue. If it's just white or black, it's just like, it just sort of is, it's a text page, yeah, but with big, bold text essentially you know styled differently so let's lose the gray until or if slash until we we bring colors in into this fray yeah i think that's the that's the way to solve this and i'm not opposed to to putting in um basically just a uh you know browsers have like a color picker field now yeah um so we can give somebody a little color wheel they can make whatever they want to kind of use at your own risk as terms of um uh dark mode but my, my sense is with dark mode is i wouldn't if you're gonna allow someone to pick a color i wouldn't play with dark mode i would just say like if you pick a color if it's a red background or a green background or a blue background or a yellow background it's always that background and always that text color i don't think we need to change like big color fields in dark mode i yeah. think Reading tech, like, you know, body copy, different story, but I don't think we need to change things where you assign a color. I think it's yeah. to have like a yellow that goes to like a, a mustard, you know, like in dark mode. I, I don't yep. think we want that. Yeah. Actually. Well, I wouldn't want to change the color for them. So they'd either have to specify it or we just leave it alone. And we could do, we could say that if there's a custom color, don't switch the UI. That's probably going to get complicated. Yeah. Um, do you think in that case that, you know, one of the the kind of defining characteristics of the the section was we it it was a different color. Uh, you know, it, it occurs to me. I wonder if it should just be, you know, reversed. Should it just be black um, with white with text? White. Um, or should we leave it alone? Gray's been fine. And the thing I don't like about well. The thing I don't like about the gray is that it's there's a potential unnecessary opposition here. Yeah. Like someone's yeah. like, I, I don't like it like that. Like, I don't want this gray page. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, well, that's just the way it is. And that's okay, by the way, we can have opinions. But is it yeah. just such a strong opinion that we need to inject this? Like, I wish it wasn't like that where I feel like if we had like a white page or a black page or like a dark gray, like a charcoal kind of something with white text, it's like, this is actually more the style. Like right now it's like so close to being a white page in a sense. It's mm -hmm. a little bit too close versus yeah. Something more um, reversed could be a nice way to think about that. Um, I don't know. I would, I would mess with it a little bit. See what you come okay. up with. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So the other stuff that's that's new um, is here. Um, I kind of doubled down on this idea. So again, right here, you know, when when we flip this on and it's active, we kind of get blue that just ties all these things together. Um, and that was inspired by the everyone. Let's see. So inspired by everyone books, where we had this idea that if it's an everyone book, we just kind of flip, and you could see the things that it affected yes. with the blue. Nice. So that that kind of resonated. So I, I I applied the same thing now when you're reordering. So um, reordering now has a has a clear mode, so you can tell this thing is on and everything's outlined now. Uh, it's even clearer in the in the in the in this mode where you can see um, you know the the drag handles are blue, and it yeah. it just gives you a, a very clear sense of when this this state is on. Um, Similarly, um, we we created a mode where you can manage where you can delete pages too. Do we have a confirmation on those deletes? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you hit that, we do this thing. Oh, I'm not seeing I, a dialog. I need some copy there. On but, my screen, yeah. but okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it's just a JavaScript confirm. Yep. Okay. Um, then, so something that, this was sort of an innovation because I'd been trying to cram it onto this screen. So when you're editing, there would be some kind of delete button. It'd be in the corner, it'd be at the bottom, it'd be, I don't know, it just, this feels like the wrong place to delete a document. And I, I've really been kind of doubling down on the idea that that this is this is the finder of the book. This is your file manager. This is where you rearrange things. This is where you create pages, um, and this is where you delete them too. So it, it kind of made the the whole thing just make more sense. I, I like that the mode is here. I'm not convinced yet that so go into a page. Like for example, actually don't go into a page yet. Let's say right here. I want to delete a page. I think I want to delete a page. Mm -hmm. I'm not totally sure what page I'm deleting. I mean, I, I might have it in my head, sort of what's on this page, but I'm only seeing a very small window mm -hmm. of it. So then I click into, like, look, scroll down for a second. Like, let's say I'm deep in the book. Okay, it's easy to like do stuff at the top, right? Let's say I'm yeah. on a uh, new page between, yeah, right there, that one, down. Yeah, that yeah. one. So I click, I'm like, do I want to delete that one? I'm not sure. So I go into it. I look at it, I go, yeah, I want to delete that one. Um, and then I go back and we're like back up at, currently at the top. We're not re remembering your, your scroll. These through. are supposed to be sticky too. I don't know what happened that, that, yeah. that broke. Okay. So that little toolbar should follow but you. Let's down still the, say down it's not, page. let's say it is sticky, but still it's like, wait, was it that one or wait, hang a second. And so you like click it again and then you're like, yeah, yeah I think it was that one. And then you go back, back isn't going to work. Cause that's taking you back to a, the previous page. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The bug. Um, maybe that's why it's not sticky. Go down a second, click that. Yeah. Click the link. And then I got to go to the actual back. Yeah. yeah so that's still. Okay. Um, yeah, but you wouldn't do that. C maybe you would, but click, click, click the page again. And then go to getting real at the top. That link is going to take yeah, you back that will reset. top of that, right? Yeah. So that's not remembering your scroll position. Anyway, the point is, is like, if I'm looking at the thing I want to delete in all its glory, full size, like I kind of want to delete it. So yeah. what I would suggest is I like the delete mode here, by the way. I think that's good. It's for like, also like, Quick cleanup, like I made a bunch of empty pages. I don't need them anymore. Boom, boom, boom. Get get rid of them. Mm -hmm. That all makes sense. I still think that on a page, so click into a page, I should be able to delete the page. Okay. It still feels like I need to be able to, like, yeah, you know what? I don't need this page anymore. Um, yeah. So I, I like to be able to delete it from here. I think the bottom left corner or whatever would would do it. Okay. Um, I think it makes sense. So okay. I would I would keep that somewhere. I don't think I put it in the toolbar though, because that feels like no, I don't either. Yeah, I'd throw it like bottom left corner, so it's just really clear a red trash can and leave it that. But I do okay. I do like the mode you added. I think that that is a smart. I think the think thinking about this like as the finder essentially mm -hmm. is a smart thought, and that makes a lot of sense to me. And and I and I think you. So we we also made a lot of improvements. So drag and drop is just much more responsive and reliable now. I can't trick it. it it really um, yeah. reacts quickly. You can't and, really see what you're dragging, though. At least I can't on the on Zoom. I don't oh, know. that that's a uh, yeah, that's a video layer composition thing. Okay. Like your your computer actually renders this in some like video layer or something that can't that Zoom can't get. Gotcha. Cool. Um, you probably won't be able to see this either, but we could also drag um, you know pages in awesome. to create them too. Oh, so that fantastic. Oh, there's a bug. Drag there. handle bug there, but yep. Um, um great so that that's working and and really nice so you can you know um you know scroll i don't know why that thing isn't sticky i gotta fix that but in theory you can you know drag it all the way down and put it in some lower place yeah great so yeah great that's that um could we go into settings for the book again so uh, everyone yeah. view, everyone defaults to everyone I'm, I'm guessing same as campfire yeah, so when you create a new book, it, it defaults to everyone. Beautiful. We've got view, we've got edit mode, so you can be an editor. So you can case. take away edit rights with this is on with this on. If Great. you turn it off, um, you know, then you can toggle individual permissions. Simple. So uh, much power, simple, um, straightforward. Does some things like, you know, it'll make sure you can't make somebody a writer without being a reader. It's it's pretty smart. Beautiful. And the everyone mode is on by default, which we ran into that situation earlier where you invited me to the account. I couldn't see anything. That's great. Totally. Yep. Um, uh, go back. Um, 
And then uh, go from locked to public for a second, URL wise. Yeah. So, oh, back to locked. Yep. And then click on the title. Click on the book cover. So it just zooms it right now. And then if you want to replace that cover, how do you do that? You go to the settings for so the. So you book. have to do that here. So okay. you can delete it or just hit it to open it to right, right. upload a new one. Yep. Cancel all of that. You would. Yep. And then the the uh, captions are uh, translated, or cap field. Sorry. Got the globe, uh, globe translations. Yep. Wonderful. Including okay. Brazil now. Even Brazil. Love it. <laughs> or Portuguese. Brazilian Portuguese. That's what, that's right. What, yeah. Um, and then go back to the index page. Let's Monday. I don't want to do it right now. Monday, okay. let's go through the new book creation process again. Because we had okay. a little bit... Um, it was a little bit clunky before with like creating new pages. They were too big and. Oh, yeah. well, let's, you know, if you have five minutes. I do. It, 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 it's it been, we've, we've improved that too. Okay. So here you end up with the, the, um, you can have the cover right here. I like that. Um, I like that the uh, permissions are front and center now as well. Like yep. as part of the creation process. Nice. And then what we what we did here is we create some pages for you. We create one of each type. Okay. And so you land here with with stuff to stuff to start with. So you can kind of get in here. You're already in edit mode. And you kind of and then it loops you back around. Cool. So it feels really nice. You don't have to worry about um, you know issues with uh, you know empty page or. Um, that e that enormous single page that we had. Well, two things. First of all, I noticed the cover is not there, but you did upload it. So uh, yeah, I wonder I if. Uh, hmm. Yep. Um, yep. Second. So everyone's going to delete these pages, probably. So yep. let's look at that experience. So delete figure one. Well, oh. yeah, little bug. So okay, but. Um, there we go. Okay, and delete that one. And so let's let's get back to like, what does it look like really when you have one page again? Okay, so that's good. You you kind of maxed out the page size there. I did, yeah. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, it doesn't blow out anymore. But let's do that and let's leave that mode and then let's like add a text page. Or yeah, whatever, yeah. You'll fix the drag handle bug. Yep. Um. All right, cool. Great. Um. All right, go back to, um. go back to the index. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm sorry. Go go back into that book. Was it my book? Whatever, whichever one you. Yeah. Um. Go into that test page to edit the page. I just want to see what that. So when you click on a blank page, okay, great. You start in edit mode. Great. Mm -hmm. I think that changed. I think before, it was like a blank. Yeah. Page. So it yeah it it starts out in edit mode, because because presumably you're here you're you're editing. You have editing editing permissions. It's a new book. Um, I would lose that bottom arrow because you don't have any page anywhere to go. I think that's a condition we need to. Yeah, it, it loops you back to the index. Um, okay. So like when you are reading and you reach the end of the book, now we could say that um, if we wanted. Yeah, it could say like the name of the book because it's usually the name of the next leaf or whatever. Yeah. Um, whatever you want. It, it's It feels a little bit like, to me, it feels a little bit like continue although i guess it kind of does anyway yeah just a thought i don't know i you know this we can also condition it out so it, that at, if you're at the last page it just doesn't show it or if you're editing it doesn't show it you know i can see if you're reading you might want to go back to the start i like the idea of the last page of the book like truly the last page of the book having that because you think about a real book when you're done you close it and you yep. close it, you kind of usually flip it back over and look at the cut like you look at the the accomplishment <laughs> like mm -hmm. i finished this book so I do like it there in this condition where it's, you only have one page. Um, it feels a little odd because it's your first, you think about this, like you make a new book. This is your first experience with this product. You make your first page. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Cause like you do, you go back and you're like, okay, great. Now I want to make my second page. So maybe it is fine. It's one of these things where this is interesting because you know, when you're critiquing a design like this, from my perspective, I'm critiquing this design. I'm not driving it. So I'm looking at it from an experience of like, 
what does it look like and whatever. But but if I was using it, it might feel totally natural to, to like even out of curiosity, click that button and see where yeah. it goes and might yep. not feel weird at all. It's one of those things. It's just like the thing you got to always watch yourself is like, am I saying something that like actually in, in actuality, the experience would be totally fine, but mm -hmm. visually it feels odd. So I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go through. Um, I'll go through my, my version, my copy and, and play with it a bit, but okay. Yeah. Cool. But, but the, mechanically, I like this a lot. This, um, uh, you, you enter an edit mode. It's great. Oh, cool. Great. So there we are out for people. This can be awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. We, a lot came together this week and it feels like very shippable at this point. Cool. Something else. Can you go back for, sorry. Oh, sure. Share again. Um, yeah. Let's, we don't need to talk about this like in detail right now, but I, let's come up with like maybe a better icon for the um, books, the, the empty yeah. books. Um, okay. The other thing is, is that um, we need- I haven't seen the logo yet. So I was hoping maybe that will lend itself to it. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I think the thing Sean's working on is quite cool. I, I keep um, bugging him about it, but he said he's like just a little more time. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a it's pretty cool. So um, I think that'll end up being like these covers will be like the the W logo, essentially the doubles W scribble. Yeah. Um, and then we could also talk a little bit. We don't need to talk about it right now though either. But like, I'm of two minds here about adding some sort of little tiny bit of branding here because there is no mention of what this product is called at all anywhere. Yeah. And um. It's not that we want to plaster this on people's books, but it's more like, you know, it's not that hard to forget what this thing is that you, that, that you're using. If you didn't buy it yourself, like you're using this inside of a company and someone's like, what are we using? It's like, I don't even know what this thing is. I have no yeah. idea what this thing is. So we'll, we'll come back to that. That might be something we throw in the bottom right corner here or, or somewhere, you know, at the bottom yeah. of the page or something like that. But all right, we'll wait for the logo to show up. It's something we need to figure out on, um, you know, public pages too. When someone's just reading a book publicly, some, some kind of attribution for that. Yeah, we could. Yeah. We'll play with that. So, okay, cool. Cool. All right, man. Looks great. All right. Looking yeah. forward to uh, some more tweaks and here we are in the home stretch a couple weeks to go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Awesome. Great work. All right. I'll catch cool. you later. All right. See you. Yep. Bye. Bye.